How did you do there, guys? My name is Sparrow Howdy, and welcome to Death Road to Canada, which is a fun little game where we're trying to get our sis to Canada while avoiding the zombie apocalypse. We're going to go ahead and get right into it, but before we get into it, I would like to say two things. Uh, one, the raft, and the next raft video will be coming out on the 8th, uh, because I need some time to get that ready, because I also want a couple days away from it, because we got to mourn the death of our storage I'm I'm still furious about that. And the other thing is, I hope you like the video. I hope you like the video. And if you do, make sure to like, subscribe, and maybe even comment something. It'll make my day. All right, let's get right into it. All right, we have some we have some custom characters now. I have been playing this to tinker around with it, but I think we need to make ourselves a pair a character worthy of pair. Of course, our pair boy would be wearing a pair of freaking sunglasses. Yeah, or an eye patch. Yeah, actually, an eye patch would be cooler. Yeah, now we're on brand. And now he's got a full-on beard. That's perfect. <laughs> Alright, and for clothes, I'd say... Where's like a suit of something? Yeah, something like that. Alright, what is our pair boy? I'd say he would be... Uh, I'd say he'd be a gun collector. Not because, you know, he's southern, but because it's one of the better strats and I want to try it. Alright, we're going to save our car our pair character. And then we'll go ahead and get get right into it. I think that looks pretty good, though. Alright, we are starting a new save. Let's go ahead and get pair out. Pair will be our leader and our buddy. Uh, let's just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a tradesmark weapon and an inventive character named Ranveer. He looks, he looks pretty nice. All right, let's get her started. We're gonna go ahead and start by going to a Yalmar. <laughs> this couldn't be more. This couldn't be more funny to me. I wonder. What... <laughs> you see what I mean when I tell you it's more like it's not. It's a zombie game, but it's more of like a comical type of zombie game. Dude, literally is is fighting zombies with uh, I'm fighting with an umbrella and our boy and our friend Ranvir here has got a uh. Oh, and I have a shotgun. All right. <laughs> this is aw <laughs> Ah. No, not my throwing boot. <gasps> there are multiple throwing boots. Pear. Bro. No. Pear, no. Grab okay. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? All righty. Uh, grab the skelly boy. Goodbye. I ain't leaving here without my... I ain't leaving here without my boots. Alright, we got our boots. We're good. Throwing boot. Throwing boot. Goodbye, y'all, Mark. I hope to see you again. And look at those stats. Those are lovely. <sighs> you, never can, you never can go wrong with a bit of extra stuff. Smush. Hair to... Hair, shoot it. All right, we got a police station. I'm going gonna go there. Kind of wanted to go for the pet shop, but I do probably need ammo. I like how our character. How did you survive the apocalypse? Uh, I I had guns. What about you? Uh, I had a leaf blower. This looks like the our characters do not look like they would talk outside of a zombie apocalypse. I am a very interesting. <laughs> the pair is a very interesting person. To say the least. And I'm going to do a quick cut here because I don't think people are really going to find these houses interesting. Alright, so as it turns out, there were nothing in those other houses. And this was probably not the better option, to be honest. We didn't get really much in the ways of supplies, but we did get we did get gas. Well, not gas. We got, uh... We got some good weapons. We have a permanent strength penalty. Ooh. Uh, let's give him some ammo, but we... No, he needs a throwing boot. That's the most powerful gun he's got. But we do need to probably need to have a gun on us at least. I'll go ahead and take these off him. I'll give him a katana too. Because you never know when you're going to need a katana. I'm just going to take a shotgun. And we'll roll with that. Alright, we got a little trader camp. Let's see what they got. I wonder if I can uh, take anything. Of course not. I wouldn't see it. Oh. Probably need a throwable, but I got my throwing boot. We'll make it. All right, guys. So the trader camp was not really that great. Just got some extra food. That was about it. She's alone. Claims to be experienced with medical. 
she spouts a bunch of medical jargon, it seems. Uh, I do need a medic. So, Kareen, you're in. All right. Siege alert. Uh-oh, we got a siege. And she has a gold machete, and we got a pitchfork. We're taking the tree branch, and we're moving our business elsewhere. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops, Daisy. No, we're keeping it going. A good. This is a good start. We got a good bit of food. We got a good bit of medical supplies. All right, we could do two to strength, and I want to do random skill. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, we need to sleep. I can't be tired. We have a lost stronghold. All right, we can go there. All right, we are out. All right, stronghold wasn't the best. I didn't really get much in the ways of food or stuff like that. That's about all I can say. Group finds another traveler by the roadside named Andre. She's got good attitude, but a horrible composure. All right. Didn't really give me an option there, Andre, did you? <laughs> Do, uh... Ranvir is very, very, very passionate about his types of types of leaf blowers. <laughs> I love that so much. The boot. Still the most powerful weapon in this entire game. I don't want to risk using them this early in the game. Maybe near the end we can like use them and Okay. Oh. Oh no. Okay, guys. We need to get out of there. That poor dog and his and his buddy. There's like food just sitting there on the table and we're just like I don't see it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this pathetic pathetic thing and only hold the one real item in this entire thing. Fair howdy. The boot wielding son of a And we got some on the way out. Alright. Alright, so the uh, trip to the, the trip to the grocery store turned out to be pretty good. We get we did get a ton of food, so as it stands, we're looking pretty good. Let's go to the prepper cabin here. Prepper cabins are always pretty good because they usually have a weapon or two in them. Alright, so right now I I no, no. He loves his throne boot. He won't go anywhere with that. I will give Kareen, though, a raffle. Even though I don't want to. Or, Andre, sorry. Kareen is the blue. Ugh. I can't get names right. Or at the life of me. Next zombie I see is going to get booted. A uh, bit of a story. Last time I played this, uh, I didn't really record it. I wanted to, but I had some issues with my, with my OBS. Uh, my game... In the game, I got stuck... And all of a sudden, I got bandits took all of my weapons, and I pressed the wrong button, and I lost all of my weapons. Even though I could have fought them off, and it caused me to lose it because I lost because I lost a really good weapon. All right, no my no my boots. He needs his boots. He can't play this without his boots. I don't really know why he's so obsessed over a, a pair of boots, but apparently they're his lifeline now. It's the only thing keeping him going. All righty, that's good. Same car, that's pretty good. And we're still pretty good on gas. Food is a bit of an issue. Medical, it has been. It's Conrad. Howdy, Conrad, but I can't have you on the team. Sorry, buddy. Oh, no. Plan. Pair. Okay. They leave on her. All right. Yeah. We're making making good progress. All right. And his mechanical occurs. Ranvir has become a mechanic during the apocalypse. I'm very happy with that. Very thankful we've made it this far, y'all. We survived almost six days, almost a week. And none of us have gotten hurt or scratched, so that's good. Oh, charm. <laughs> Pear, come on, man. He's probably just like, out of there, miss. Come on, uh, giving us some tips on how to do mechanic stuff. And look, there's uh, there's the character from the beginning. That was from when I made the character. See ya, sorry. All right. Oh my. I forgot, my character doesn't have any weapons, frick. Pipe. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ranvir, <laughs> or Ranvir, Ranvir, I'm going to call him Ranvir, that's his name. There's no way out. 
This is a dead end. Oh, there was a door right here. Never mind. Woo. Let's do share it with everybody. Shooting, Rambler's mechanical, and Kareen's mechanical. And gas. <laughs> Who got peanut butter on our magazine? Who does that? Fested stronghold. Let's do it. And I keep forgetting to take weapons with me. Gosh darn it. I need my boot. <laughs> she stole my boot. Uh-uh, Missy. Give me that. She's like, she's like, why are you so interested in this gosh darn boot? Oh, shoot. I got bit. I got bit. I got bit. Move. Holy shoot, it's crowded. Okay, maybe we need to go back in here. <laughs> Bad time to be throwing your boot. This is going to be really good for weapons, but other than that, we're screwed. <gasps> More boots! <gasps> I'm missing one of my originals. I can only carry two. And now this is just a pot. Ooh. This stronghold has been quite the tough cookie to crack, but when it did, it did. Uh, howdy guys, this is Editing Pair here, and uh, I'm kind of here because there's a bit of an issue I had with my with my stuff with my setup after this. Uh, my microphone was off for a while, and it's very late. So for right now. Probably just gonna do a part two of this eventually, whenever I can muster enough to get a video a voiceover done. So I'm very sorry. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please don't be mad at me. I'm very sorry. Until then, uh, I wish y'all have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to y'all later. See ya.